Hey guys, SPC Ash on nine four six seven, along with And I don't know where Ryan Kong is at, but <laughs> he's there too. Anywho, hold on, let me zoom out. This has a really slow zoomer. I apologize for that. Just deal with it. But anyways, this is going to be an unboxing video for the first time in about three years of the Midland WR100. Yes, I finally have the EAS Communities Classic. But that's not the only thing I have. I also have the Midland model 18 str strobe light that's going to be attached to this radio possibly so let's get into the radio first yeah okay oh i see the radio already oh my goodness so many memories all right button check hold on let me Put this up. Move, I'm moving my uh, webcam. Let's see here. This looks to be either a uh, version four or a version five, maybe even a version three, but we'll see. This is a version five, but I'm showing it right now. It it has a different faceplate than my other two radios. But uh, all right, let's do a button and switch check to see if this is probably working. So we have menu, select, arrow keys, volume up and down buttons, and weather snooze. Perfect. Everything works. Yep. Do you, want to do, the, do you want to do the alert test together? Sure. Okay, there's the uh, ports, the uh, ex external antenna, the PC, DC jack, and then external alert on the side. Well, there's a uh, black mark in there, but I don't care. No loose parts, so that's good. Alrighty. So, now let's plug in the uh, batteries. Alright. Notice how I jumped right into the uh, unboxing portion and instead of uh, doing most of the commentary, but All right. Okay, here we go. For the again for the first time in so many years of waiting, I finally got a WR100. So, so here we go with a lamp test. Three, two, one. Version 5. Awesome. It works. Alright, let me put on the uh, battery cover. Son of a bitch. Okay. I couldn't slide it on for a minute. Alright, flip up the legs. Raise the antenna. Don't want to break this. Nope, it, it, it has a pretty strong antenna. Alright. The speaker works just fine too. It doesn't have a high pitched squeal of death. <laughs> what the heck? Is this already on channel one? Alright, anyways, set up. Time. We're currently looking at 6 31 p.m. Oh my gosh, okay, that's loud. Oh, you guys can't even see that. I'm sorry. Let me fix that. Alright. It is. 6.31 Okay, light, we'll leave that on normal. Alert test. Ready, lacrosse? Oh wait, let me let me uh, actually pan the camera upwards so that you can see uh, lacrosse's WR100. He's got one right there too. Okay, well anywho, <clears throat> we're about to do the alert test together. Okay. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. Sweet siren. All right, alert type, we'll put that on voice, of course. Same set, oh, what the heck? It's already on multiple. What county codes do we have here? Okay, that's interesting. I think I should uh, reset this radio, I, and, and I know how. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, shoot, you can't see that. I'm sorry. 
I get kind of clumsy with the camera sometimes, but here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, inspired by SVZ for Gens 2190, I will hold down the weather, snooze, and volume up keys while plugging in the batteries. Wait for it. Yep. And it's back to its factory settings. Okay. All right, let's do the setup again. Okay, so time, it is now 6.33. Uh, light again, we'll put that at, you can either put it on normal or on. I choose to put it on normal. Alert test. Oh, it kind of lags whenever there's static in the background, but I don't care. Uh, put that on voice. Same set. For the, just for the heck of it, I'm just going to put in my county code. Let's see, I think it's 0, 3, 9, 0, 0, 0, 5. And then put that back on any channel. Oh, it picks up WNG698 just fine. Oh, I can't, I can't adjust the volume on the channel setting. Oh well. And then alarm, we have no use for that. And that is that. Placement right up there next to the Midland WR120. Let's go. Oh yeah, placement. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it right next to it, right there. Good. Let me pan the uh, webcam upwards. Its antenna beats uh, <laughs> the WR100, that's for sure. I should probably do a uh, weather radio comparison, too. So, here's my WR100 and my WR120. What's different? Okay, shut up, dogs. You've been barking for the past two hours. Can you just shut up for Pete's sake? <laughs> and of course, they don't—they don't stop freaking barking because well, they're dogs. <laughs> Hold on, I'm folding up the legs of my uh, huge tripod here. Maybe. Okay, then make this a little bit. Mine goes up 72 inches. 72? Holy crud. Yeah, that's big. Whose phone was going off? I heard a ringtone. I guess I can take the camera off the tripod, because why the hell not? <laughs> yeah, I'm showing the radios anyway. I... <laughs> okay, anyways, as I said, oh, I should probably. I forgot all about the AC adapter, which is, oh my god, that is old. I hope it still works, though. So let me... It's this big black brick! The other ones I've seen were a little bit smaller. Uh, it looks to be... Let me put it in the light. Um... Yeah, output 12 volts. 200 milliamps. Milliamps. I'm undoing the wires. Too bad they didn't put a twist tie around it. Which would be a smart idea to do. And now there's a freaking piece of dog hair on it. <laughs> now you're dead. <laughs> Alright, let me plug that in there. There we go. Okay, the power supply works. So here they, okay, uh, here they both are together. I'm trying to do this holding the, both the webcam and my camera at the same time. So here's, here they both are. The dynamic duo. Just be careful, because you might have to fix your antenna later because, you know, they're yeah. prone to problems. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, speaking of, I should probably. 40%. Showers and thunderstorms. Oh, I might get some new alerts on this thing tonight, but who, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's do a quick comparison between the two. What's different? Well, obviously the uh, weather radio sizes are different. The LEDs on this radio are to the right of this screen right here, 
and then on this has a wider display uh, also kind of has a brighter backlight uh, with the LED lights around the bottom of the screen as you see no message fits perfectly on there while well, this scrolls it wait uh, it's it's flickering the no will go uh, is it Oh, it's, it's staring directly at me, whoops. The webcam was staring directly at my face whenever I was doing this. I highly apologize for that, guys. Again, this, I'm using my, I'm using this tiny tripod here, and someone just left. Someone left. Oh. Well, Ryan, did you just join or what? Oh, well, for those for those who are just Oh wait. I I'm I'm used to saying those who are, who are just tuning in because I'm used to doing live streams, but as you see Ryan just joined. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and then I'll be getting to the strobe light in a minute. So, again, squishy buttons that I found out on this WR120. This one is more solid, but and my headset battery is running low. Great! <laughs> and then weather snooze button is obviously different. It has a uh, semicircle. What'd you say? My buttons all suck on mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's never a good sign. Just, just like what happened to SBC Cranford's 12521. It, it got to the point where absolutely none of the buttons worked. But it, then what happens is sometimes you press weather snooze while the weather's running and it won't shut off, but it'll still make the beep, and that's really weird. Wow. Okay, that's that is really weird. Yeah. All right. Just... Has a lot more features on there. Blah blah blah. Okay, you guys get the picture of, of of the differences between the two. Let's go ahead and move on to the strobe light. So let me. Wee! Wee! Oh, don't even get me started on the RECOM! Oh, uh, yes. I have that. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, which model is it again? 1630? I have a 1650 and a 1630. Lucky. Did you get them directly from Recom Electronics? Because they're freaking expensive. Um, I God. God, these legs suck. No. <laughs> okay. Man, just throwing the tripod around basically. Just trying to set it up for you guys. Twisting it. I hope I give I hope I don't get the viewers motion sickness by doing this. But uh Alright. Zoom into the strobe light. And yeah, I don't think I need the scissors for this. I think I can just pry it open with my hands. But we'll see. Oh, yep, I can pry it open with my hands. So, scissors, get the frick out of here. Opens up just like that. No wonder they call it a clamshell. Here's the, uh, here's the, uh, background here. And then, here's the strobe light itself. Oh, it even has a, uh, strip right there to mount it onto your wall, which I find really interesting. My Discord just crashed. Oh, well, that sucks. I just jumped into the uh, strobe light unboxing. It was actually really easy to open. I did not have to use my scissors once. That's cool. It actually opened up like a clamshell. Okay. Like a clamshell should. Yeah. So, Lacrosse, you're an expert of WR100s. How do you connect these uh, strobes? Okay. So there's an alert out port on the back, right? Uh, it's like a 3.5 millimeter jack. At, or actually, no. It's on the side, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the side of the radio. It's on the left side, and it's, it's EXT alert or something like that. Yeah, EXT alert. Yeah. I'm just going to put the camera down here. And get a people flash as the alert, oh, oh, alert test goes off. Oh, yeah. Because I've had... Well, I haven't had a strobe light, but I've tried one on my 
stupid camera. God. It's okay. I'm always having camera issues. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens during an unboxing. I, I still remembered your uh, webcam falling off during your Sanji end unboxing. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. I'll never forget that. Did your elbow bump it or something? No, it just fell off. And I thought my phone was basically the ghetto tripod I made. Oh. Oh, okay. So the webcam just fell. That was my fault. I shouldn't have done it with that. Okay. <laughs> so plug it all the way in? Yep. Okay, let me... Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh wait, it, ha it needs batteries. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. I didn't know this thing takes batteries. Yes, it does. Wait, ha where where's the battery compartment? Well, it should. Like, uh, show me it. This is all it has. Maybe it does. Just try it. Yeah, maybe. I I don't know if it does have. Okay. Try it with the alert test because it lights up and it doesn't need it. Alright. Nope, nope, didn't flicker. Is there a compartment on the back? I don't see anything. Did you read the manual? Eh. I don't think this thing came with a manual. Let me look. Oh, wait. There is a quick start guide. Here we go. Alright. Remove red strobe light cover. Cover can be removed from the other end. the front cover, then there's a battery opening in there. Oh, how do I remove that? Well, you should be able to press down on one side and it should flip up. Or pull out. On one side? Well, there should be like the little things to unclick it. I mean, you can look in the quick start, it should explain everything. Okay, let me see here. What the heck is Dakota doing, Mike? We will never know. <laughs> I guess not. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. It actually does take batteries. Uh, I think it takes two... Either double A's or triple A's. Yeah, triple A's. Okay. All right, perfect. No more double A's to spend because there are more batteries I use other than the others. Use like the really ones that guarantee a long life and hydrate items. Yeah. Even cover can be removed from either end. How do I remove right. the cover? Well, it's it's know, basically stuck on there. Let's just do this easy. I'll look at a manual, manual online because you are busy in the middle of a video. So, hold on a second. I'll figure this out. Okay. This may take some time. Um, yeah, this is where we put a cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, you got it? Yep, I'm loading up the manual currently. Oh wait, never mind, I got it. Cool. Alright. <laughs> right right as you put up the manual, I got it open. Alright, so yeah. Two triple A's. Yep. So let me dig through my battery drawer, see what I can find here. Uh I don't know if these batteries are strong or okay. Okay. So I got these two. They're not Duracell. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> but okay, let's plug that in and then plug this in holy crap it dimly lit up oh my gosh yeah it's supposed to light up when you put the batteries in and then okay dokie all righty here we go oh yeah Now we're really gonna get some action. Oh yes. So yep, I guess that's basically it for this unboxing or dual unboxing, because it came the radio itself and the strobe light. So this was SPC Ashline nine four six seven along with. No one else is answering.
Okay, and Mike is probably away. So, yep. Talk to you guys later.